welcome to Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. I would like to share with you today about our, um, our relationship with our story and um, how much we're attached and ruled by our own story. And we all have our own story. But majority of people on the planet, they're not aware that they're completely lost in the, this story of me and poor me or whatever it is. Uh, whether it's a victory and there's great pride of this me who has accomplished this and that and I'm so good and I'm so mighty and look at me and, and um, blaming other people or having this feeling of superiority over other people or uh, over their children or their partner and wanting to compare everybody else to themselves um, and feeling superior or the other way around and um, feeling inferior and uh, being a victim, and because this or that has happened in my life, and I'm like this, or like that. So, and this is the part that if you want to advance and you want to go to a higher levels of consciousness, uh, we, we need to look at it and become really aware of it, is my story, your story, and see how much you dwell in it, how much you live in this story, and that's where the self-awareness mechanism kicks in. Uh, as the spiritual seeker, it goes more deeper within themselves and they get more advanced and they begin to evolve. They start to recognize or they're available and ready for this kind of teachings, and which is looking at our own story and seeing that how much you are lost into it and how much importance you give to it. Uh, number one is, let's just like a look at it. So, of course, you have a past, you lived from the time you were born, and you've gone through all these different series of events in your life. Some people are more fortunate, some more, some less. Uh, some of us have gone through some dramatic experiences in our lives, a lot of ups and downs. Some maybe had a smoother ride. Uh, some of us feel like we've been a victim and, and uh, the world is treating us uh, very viciously and um, we've been cheated, we've been screwed over, we've been uh, abandoned, we've been pushed uh, pushed around and we carry this story with us so let's dissect this and take a look at it in different sections of it and we'll go forward um, one is that first of all this life story that you have that I have is where is this life story is it in a you know in a package does it you know it's like a package you carry this package with you is it a physical package? Is it written somewhere? Did somebody write it down for you somewhere? Or it's uh, merely thought and memory? Is it only in your mind or it's written somewhere? And obviously it's not written anywhere. It's, it's in your mind. It's in, uh, stored in your memory. And how much of your memory is right? How much your mind works well and you can remember everything from your past, your past history? How much do you remember? How much do you remember about 30 years ago, 20 years ago, your childhood? How much of it? You have an idea of things have happened, but if you go back in time, you can't remember the details. Do you remember what kind of silverwares and what kind of plates you had uh, in your kitchen when you were seven or eight years old? What color they were? Um, 
Do you remember what the kitchen in your house looked like? Do you remember what kind of um, uh, bedding and set setup you had in your bedroom? Do you remember the color of your bedroom when you were seven years old? How much do you remember of your past? We have an idea of some events, and mostly we refer to the events that happen. Uh, we remember things that have traumatized us. Uh, we do remember some moments that something profound happened, and, and uh, you reached somewhere, you did something, you graduated. Um, those kind of things, or you fell in love, your first love, do you remember your third boyfriend or girlfriend, the fifth one that you were with? Or you just remember the main one? How much of it do we remember? And if you look back, especially when you're looking at the old pictures or old videos, and you go back through your pictures, you're looking at them, and all of a sudden you remember, oh, wow, I remember this. Oh, wow, this. I forgot about this one. So if you go back to your past and examine it and check, check it out, uh, and then you're comparing this with your brother, with your friend, with your mom, your dad, your, your partner, you're going to realize that your stories are not really matching. And sometimes they're completely opposite. Like you're, let's say you have a, um, a reunion with uh, your friends from high school and or college and 20 years 30 years has gone by uh, you get together you're having a drink this is your re uh, 10 year anniversary of high school reunion and you're hanging out together and you're talking about an event you're talking about do you remember that we were that night in such and such bar we used to go there and we were drinking and get crazy and have fun and dance and uh oh you remember sally you jumped over you were so drunk on tequila and you jumped on the bar and you were dancing like crazy and you know you pulled your top off or da 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 da, da. some profound story funny story stupid or whatever the story was and then Everybody has a different version of it. Somebody with Sally will say, no, it wasn't me. It was Jane. Jane will say, no, it wasn't me. It was Julie. And if you pay attention, you realize that nobody has the same story and nobody really remembers exactly what happened except their own version of the story. So now four people sitting together, everybody has a different version of the story. And so let's see, did it really happen? Did that thing really happen? And if it happened, what's the real, real story? No one really remembers it. Is there a record of it? Is it, is it, you know, maybe you say, oh, it's in the Akasha records, but let's put the Akasha records away, okay? And, and let's be practical with our daily uh, um, efforts of practical life stuff. Number one, who cares what really happened? That was 30 years ago, 20 years ago. Secondly, what did really happen? Nobody really remembers it. Did it really happen? So if you look back, you realize that this story is basically in your memory. It's most probably been tainted and it's changed from its original um, uh, event that has happened. 